this morning. There, did it again. Okay, we're gonna take off like it's nobody's business. See, it did it again. Oh no, we're gonna do it every time I take off now. Is it just because it's cold? I feel a lot better today, but clutch cable is definitely, or whatever the clutch is, annoying me. My mirrors seem low again. Hey, the blinker, it's way down there. Adam Miller. Adam Miller, I'm driving. See how this goes. Hey, how's missed your call, sorry. Yeah, you're good. Uh, I just wanted to get this uh, my tour that sidewalk out from there. Oh yeah. Uh, I will see you in a couple hours. Alright, thanks. Yep, later. Alright, bye. They may be coming in the next couple hours to tear out the sidewalk, period. Okay, there's that. Back on the road, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna go through the college. How's that sound? I don't know how my bike's gonna handle these speed bumps. The graphic design is over here now, huh? I took graphic design here like 15 years ago. There's probably a reason I don't do this. This is where I took my motorcycle training course. Is at this college, a couple buildings back. Well, actually where the sign was for graphic design. I'm nervous every time I pull out of my clutch. I think it's gonna jump. That's not comfy. Kinda nice to see this angle of this road construction and see what they're doing. I'm pretty sure they're putting my entrance and exit area so you can kind of merge better into the traffic. This intersection does get a little crazy at times, although it's summer now, but... Oh great, it's a mess. Yeah, it looks like they're doing some turning lanes or something. I want to get a camera back here somewhere. Nice. Get a little one that sits right on your brake light. Yeah. Okay, finally got camera working with audio. I am going for a ride with my buddy Mark uh, from work. Just going to lunch. But you know, gotta have audio. So probably got some sweet video back there a second ago, cruising around. He has a uh, Mean Streak. I believe it's a 1600 CC Mean Streak. This key, it doesn't fit in there. It hits stuff. I have to use like the other key. Oh yeah. I've got one that doesn't have like the sides on it. So I can't get it, I'm pretty sure I can't get it to turn. Yeah, see it, it hits. Cause these tubes are fatter, I think. Oh, but the other one will work? Yeah, cause the other one's like a long round key. Gotcha. 
and I almost dumped this the other day. Yeah? I was sitting on it, getting ready to come to work, and then something hit me. Oh, I forgot something. So I went to set it back down and forgot I put my kickstand up already. <laughs> I got such a Charlie horse. Oh, oh. trying to catch it. I'm like, ah! So I'm trying to lift it up with a Charlie horse. I'm like, no, I won't dump it. I won't dump it. <laughs> I was working on mine and turn, I had it tipped, but I turned the handlebars the other way uh -huh. and I had to hold on to it because it would just go over if I didn't. Really? Yeah, I didn't didn't know it would do that. I had that up at Steve Dixon's when I went to get his truck. The only place I could park was on his sidewalk. Oh, oh yeah. And it slanted. I was like, ugh. It's like, Lord, don't let a big wind come. <laughs> and I wanted to show you real quick uh, the DJI Osmo action camera. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on. Oh, actually, I think it was already on. Screen switch. Dude, look, you can see me. Run, 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 run. I think it's a little high. Bring it down a little bit. Tighten her up. That looks really nice. Okay, watch this. Start recording. <laughs> that right there is just an amazing feature. I gotta figure out how to turn off the screen after a little while, but see how this goes. Got it. I got it for work, so it won't be in all the vlogs. Oh, this the front screen did shut off. All right, it's softball night. Usually that's on Tuesdays, but since the rain, got moved to Thursdays. got done doing a Bible study with my friend George and now I'm headed to softball it's currently 76 degrees so we got the new Osmo pocket I got it for work we're gonna use it for some vacation Bible school and then this summer we've got a trip for the youth that are going it's called a wilderness trip where they go out into the boonies and live for a week in the forest it's good for you I'm gonna take this action camera waterproof and all that so there's those are multiple things that we're gonna be able to use this Osmo pocket for that means it makes it rugged I could just set it on a mode it's got stabilization which is a big deal when volunteers are using a camera yeah so I'm pretty excited we got a bicycle on the side here holding up some traffic well, now if you had a real bicycle you'd be able to keep up just kidding just kidding I like to ride pedal bicycles too. This is my old stomping grounds. This area is where I grew up. It's, uh, my grandparents' house is back there a little ways. So I remember riding the bus here, picking up kids on this road. I think the bus driver actually lived right there. This is my old bank coming up here. So just reminiscent. Oh, uh, let's drive past our old house. Oh, Tesla. Nice. This road used to be treacherous because right here used to be a train track. This road is just really rough. They've redone it. It's real nice now. Water. We just don't want to be under the gun when we're going through that water with the torque on this bike. Real low profile tire. Just want to keep her safe. My tire just spun right there. It's probably still wet. Thankful it stayed upright water people's basements are flooded uh, not maybe not well probably are flooded but also just got a lot of water this is my old house right here used to live in that house it did not look that nice I can tell you that um, but you know we were pregnant with our first kid working part-time part all that so um, I'm going sorry I fit so I'm going 
there's a road right here so where this intersection is uh where these lights are one time i jumped this road going you know horizontal here it doesn't look like that big of a bump but it sure is i came off the ground in my uh <laughs> 2003 chevy avalanche broke my speakers and amp and subwoofers and everything because they bounced around in the back in the back and ripped the cords out i think i found that if i engage my clutch a little bit it's likely to have that issue. I'm not real educated on uh, bikes. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Somebody told me that this clutch on the M109R is a wet clutch, which apparently means that it gets oil from the engine. And they're asking what kind of oil to use and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, I didn't know that. So I'm wondering if I'm low on oil uh, because it does feel like the clutch is dragging a little, like kind of catchy, kind of snagging, kind of like, that's what it feels like. Maybe a dry, it's getting dry. And I'm used to cars and, and not wet clutches. So, so that'll be interesting. I'm gonna try to figure it out. You know what's interesting too? The Osmo Pocket has been known to have issues with fingerprints on the screen and other things. I can see it right now. So the screen's off, the sun's shining on it, but I can see internal moisture or fingerprints in there. I don't know if that's gonna go away or if it's gonna go away when my think like will wipe off. I don't know what's going on, but it's definitely an issue some other people have had. So anyways, back to the clutch. Uh, so this supposedly has a wet clutch and uh, if my oil's low, well then that's probably gonna cause some issues. So we'll see. Uh, the problem is to check the oil in this thing, you have to leave it running for now, I might not have this exactly right, but you have to leave it running for 15 minutes straight up and down. So it can't be tip sideways on a kickstand. So you got to have some kind of like bike stand maybe, but I don't have one. So I'm going to have to, I don't know what, jimmy rig or stand there for, so I'm going to sit on it for 15 minutes. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. Just sit. I don't know. And then you have to shut it off for three minutes and then you have to unscrew the oil cap and then don't screw it in, but test it. I don't know. It, it, I, I'll post a link to the instructions below, but it's just insane. I really got to get that done because one of these times is going to cause a problem. I'm going to need to go and then I'm going to get stuck in an intersection trying to get my clutch to engage and then I'm going to get hit by a car. So we can't have that. No. Also, I need an oil change, but I'm pretty sure the shop said for synthetic it was like $200 or something like that because it's, it's full synthetic. But I don't have the equipment and tools to do it myself. I might be able to buy them for $200 though, geez. I'm doing what everybody does. Which car is gonna go faster and which one should I get behind? But you'd think the Toyota Sienna over the Saturn. My clutch was having issues when the engine was a little more cold, which would mean the oil was cold, which means the oil level would be lower. But once it warms up, it doesn't have problems. It's because the oil gets hotter and expands and fills more. Thank you. No, I feel like this bike has always had it. Like when I go to downshift sometimes, I feel like I feel the clutch catch. So that could be, I could be part of it. I do need to get better at getting off the line though. I think I'm just scared that it's not gonna work. I'll have to admit, flip screen is sweet. Oh, I also found out my clutch keeps like jerking every once in a while and somebody said I might be low on oil because it's a wet clutch and it uses oil so I need to figure out how to check my oil which is like a literal 25 minute process you have to let it run for 15 minutes then cool for five then I don't know uh, water it's amazing how much different the ride is on water and stopping holy crap holy this ground is horrible and then there's like a big bump right there <clears throat> It's like off-roading right there. If anybody didn't know, that's the school I went to when I was a kid. Oh, these rides are the best. It's like kind of hazy over there. You got the sun. It's like 75 degrees. It's like eight o'clock at night. It's like just got done playing out in the sun. But the air is cool. It'd be interesting to see how the Osmo action camera is doing in low light conditions pretty impressed with the stabilization wide angle actually seems better than my hero 3 this is one of the most lonesome rides i feel like and there are other cars but it's just like 
a long straightaway. But it is kind of nice sometimes to just drive straight. Not stop, not go, not turn, not traffic. But it's also fun sometimes, like earlier today, to weave through traffic. I got the horses in the back. Fourth gear. Third gear. Second gear. First gear. I would take a um, gear indicator. That would be great. Uh-oh. SD card what? Full? No way. SD card full. I must have put a little SD card in the, in the thingy. That's a bummer. Hello. Yeah. Hi. How many steps do you have? Oh, uh, really? Eight thousand nine hundred and eighty-four. Wow. I have sixteen thousand. That's it? Yeah. You only have eight thousand. Hey. This camera memory card got full. Is that good or bad? Uh bad. Ooh. Voice activated. Yeah, it memory card's full. Oh, so I just grabbed one quick from church. I don't even know if there's anything on it or if it's a little one or. Is is um is that one on? Yeah, is the light flashing? Yeah. Yep. Is that one on? Is it is that one smooth and moving? Is the camera lens facing you? Yeah, it's on. Otherwise, it turns and parks itself like sideways. I got the horses and the bike. That is my microphone, and that fuzzy is called a dead cat. Although it's very small, so I like to call it a dead mouse. And it is blocking the wind when I drive in case there's any wind blowing into my Why helmet. Is it called a dead cat? Well, because usually they're big and they're on big microphones and they're for outdoors, like news reporters and stuff. So it just looks like a dead cat. Tanner has one. So this is a little tiny one, so I like to call it a dead mouse. It's just funny. But why is it called a dead? Well, because it's not alive. So it'd be like taking a cat, skinning it, and taking all its fur off. What's the Powerball? Like, 350 million. It's got to be over 500 or we're not buying a ticket. Which is really dumb because we could live off of about 5 million. But if we had 500 million, we could, you know, give a lot away. I like to mess around. It was a nice ride today. Nice ride this morning. Nice ride with my buddy to our lunch. Nice ride to softball and a nice ride home. Hope you guys had a nice ride today. Okay, so there was a cop right there. I don't think I was going over 45 though. He didn't look at me though. <laughs> I don't see him in my rearview mirror, so I think we're good to go. My new, uh, new sidewalk. It's beautiful. Where's the orange cones at? 